Welcome back, my followers. I'm your host, Ricky Nose, and this is another episode of No School Stuff. And this is my final thoughts on the Mi 11 Ultra. What was good? What was bad? How does it stack up compared to other phones? We'll find out that here on No School Stuff. So what can you say about the Mi 11 Ultra? Right. Today, it is Xiaomi's very, very best smartphone. Let's first talk about design. The front is a beautiful screen, right? You're not gonna complain about it. It gets bright enough during the brightest days where you can still see it. It looks beautiful colors when you're watching movies or playing games or using your social media. Front, perfect. The back, on the other hand, may be a if or if I don't like it scenario. You know? You're going to be that person that likes it and the other person that don't like it. Right? I like the ceramic back over glass. Right? It will make it a little heavier, but it leaves no fingerprints. Now, this big old camera module, let's talk about that. This, will you either like it or don't like it? Because it does make the phone feel heavy. And like Daniel says, it doesn't keep it balanced. All right? And everything has to be balanced. All right? So you may or may not like that. So it's gonna be a hefty boy, okay? But you can use it right here to put your finger right here and hold it like the phone like this. All right, so design-wise, perfect. Uh, like I said, the camera module is a up in the air on your personal likes or dislikes, dislikes and stuff. All right, so let's talk about the usage of it. All right, you're gonna get at least about six and a half to seven hours of on-screen time, depending how you use the phone, okay? I get about six hours when I'm using 120 hertz refresh rate, but if you drop it down to 60 hertz, you could probably get a little longer than six hours. All right, uh, keep it on auto adjust. You're gonna get more time with the battery. Okay, so the battery life on this phone is good and solid for everyday use. And even if it does run out, you have that 67 watt wired charger and 67 watt wireless charger. Yeah, it's gonna be topped up within 30 minutes. So. Uh, or enough juice to get you going right away if midday you're running down low okay so i wouldn't worry about the battery right even if you do only get about five hours you pop it back on you charge back up all right so battery life is good uh playing games is good on it watching movies is good on it uh using social media facebook instagram twitter all works well with it it's fast it's snappy because of the 120 hertz refresh rate all right, so all of that will work on this Mi 11 Ultra. Now, what do we really need to know about? Camera, everybody's really important about the camera. The cameras are excellent, okay? You're not gonna complain. These are these high megapixel cameras. They're gonna give you good quality shots uh, for the most part, depending how you, you know, like I said, pictures are subjective. You may or may not like it, but that's why we have what? Filters, yes, to change the way it looks if you don't like the way it's shot sometimes. All right, so um, now let's talk about the front camera. Selfie camera is okay. Uh, it's not the best selfie camera, but it will do in a pinch and works well enough. So I will give it more like a seven out of 10 on selfie cameras. Now, everybody wants to talk about this rare display on the back, okay? What can you do with that little rare display? Is it worth having this big old camera module on the back? Uh, I say yes. Uh, so you can allow to have notifications, which I like, right? uh, time, battery life. Always good, so if I have my phone's down, I just tap it to wake it. All right? Now you can also have like a moving background, like a butterfly flying on it. Uh, you can put your own personal pictures on the back. Uh, you can use it as a rare viewfinder. So when you take pictures with the main camera, all you gotta do is tap it, set it up in the camera mode, hit that volume button to take a picture. I've done it a couple times, it works, all right? You're not, no, don't get me wrong, you're not gonna be using it all the time. Cause you're gonna go, oh, let me set it up real quick. Okay, let me do this. No, you can just take it with the front camera most of the time, okay? But it does come in handy if you want that ultra wide shot of a selfie of your family or something, it does work that way. So I do give it that. And it does give you a little timer, like a, was a five second timer. So you get all in position for it. So that works. So overall, I've been using this for one month. I have no major complaints about. The auto brightness is probably the only thing I have to complain about. Like at nighttime, the auto brightness lowers the brightness way too low and I'm always gotta adjust it to 
be brighter at night and stuff. But other than that, no major complaints about it. This is a solid phone, and you can get your hands on it. I would highly recommend you to buy it. All right, because it's display great, cameras great, battery's good, everything works on this phone, and this is why this is the top flagship phone for Xiaomi right now. Now let's get to the uh oh time. Recently, Xiaomi has announced that their Chinese variant phones will no longer be able to use Google. And we have seen this recently with their K40 gaming enhanced phone where every YouTuber say, I can't use Google, I've tried everything, I can't use Google, it won't work. Now, there's rumors saying that if you get the flagship versions of the Chinese variant, Google will always still work on it, okay? Like if you get the Mi 11s, if you get the more expensive ones, the phone, the Mi Mix phone, those will still use Google, but like I said, you gotta test it. Right now, mine is running MIUI 12.5.2. The K40 Game Enhanced, when it first comes out of the box, is using 12.5.6. So maybe it's the 12.56 that activates it where it won't use Google, okay? So, but if you don't update it and you go into your settings and turn off all that automatic update, then you never have to worry about updating your phone and you can just keep it at the one that where it works. That's my suggestion. But like I said, flagship ones may always work with Google. Then there's also rumors saying, oh, if the phone has the Snapdragon, Google will work. But if it has the MediaTek, it won't work with Google. But we gotta test it out. We gotta see if we can find a work around it and try to get Google back on it, on especially the ones that can't use it. I'll let you know and give you updates if I run into that problem. But for now, the Mi 11 Ultra, the Chinese variant, does work with Google right now. And I'm not gonna do an update on mine, as long as it still works, I'm not gonna fix it. All right, this is my final thoughts on the Mi 11 Ultra. Of course, it's gonna be a great phone. It's a flagship phone. Uh, it's not gonna have any major problems. If you do have a problem, it's probably more of the nitpicking stuff, okay? The weight's too heavy. Oh, I don't like the camera module. But <laughs> over our experience, it works. I've used this for one month, I enjoy it, okay? It's a fantastic phone. All right. All right, so this was my final thoughts on the Mi 11 Ultra. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit that bell for notification when I drop new videos, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be part of No School Stuff family. All right, this is where I leave you. And as always, my followers, be cool.